Today we're looking at the Edifier R33BT Bluetooth Computer Speakers. Welcome back, I'm Kevin K from KevinK.com and on this channel I do a lot of YouTube tutorials, product reviews, and a lot of live streaming. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so that you can get more information about the Edifier R33BT Bluetooth computer speakers and think about purchasing them for yourself. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Like most things these days, we open the box and see that these will be nice, nicely packaged. If you haven't already seen my other Edifier video, I hope you'll check out those bookshelf speakers as well. They were packaged just as well. And carefully lift the speakers out of the box. And we'll see that we've got a little package with our audio cable and our instructions and warranty information. We'll get into the speakers themselves in just a second, but I just want to see what they've included for a cable here. So this is your standard computer. Remember, these are computer speakers, not necessarily with as many connections as typical bookshelf speakers, uh, but these do have Bluetooth, and we'll look at that later. And then, of course, they've given us our warranty information and instructions that we're going to see. I'll leave it to you to go through those. When I get ready to unpack the first speaker, I'll see that even the cord is well kept here or packaged. And then a uh, little protector for our power plug. Edifier always does a good job with these and I'm happy with the couple of pairs of these that I have already. We'll get into the second speaker. I believe these come in one other uh, possible color, like a wood kind of finish. Uh, just like my other ones, if you saw that video. These I just opted for black in this case. And then we see that the second speaker's actually got another uh, cable connected to it. And my assumption will be that that cable is meant to plug into the first speaker. And there we go right there. A closer look at the back of the speakers is going to show us our connection from one to the other, which is very simple. Here's our connection to our computer, and then of course we just have our power button so that we can turn them on. So we'll set them up now. Connecting the speakers is going to be very easy. We're just going to hook one speaker to the other. We're going to get our computer cable and put that into the output of the speaker and then into the input on our computer just like that and then we're ready to plug in the AC power I'll turn on the main power switch at the back but once your computer speakers are set up you'll be able to use the power button that you're gonna see on the top of the speaker which just lit up you don't need to use these acoustic foam pads but I'm gonna use them for my speakers I just like the idea that there's zero chance of any rumble from the wood of the desk let's say now we can fire up the computer and give these speakers a try. So right away we can hear that the speakers have got a little bit of volume already set. Uh, I haven't touched anything yet and I happen to be using Mac so of course it defaults to the speakers because they're in the headphone jack. And then we can use the buttons on the top of the speaker to raise the volume or lower it. One thing I want to do just to make sure that we're connecting via Bluetooth is take the audio cable out of the computer. Then we can be sure. To connect the speakers via Bluetooth, I'm going to go into the settings. And if you're on Windows, the process should be similar. To get our speakers into Bluetooth pairing mode, I'm just going to press the power button quickly and it'll turn to a blue flashing signal. We'll see our speakers are here, the Edifier R33BT, and all I have to do is click connect. 
Now we know we're connected. When I look at the Bluetooth indicator at the top of the screen, I can click on that. It is just referencing the speakers that it's connected to. Now I'll go ahead and play some music and we'll see what happens. We can use the volume buttons on the speakers to raise and lower the volume, but you're going to notice on the Mac desktop, the sound level is not changing. And what that means is that's the gain or the signal going into the speakers. So we want to make sure they're nice and low. Then we can adjust the sound from our Mac. And you see how it changes. This is one of my other YouTube channels that features exclusively copyright free music that you can use in your videos and live streams. All of the music on that channel is available on all major streaming platforms as well, like TikTok, Instagram, Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, and of course YouTube Music and more. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so that you can get more information about the Edifier R33BT Bluetooth computer speakers and everything else we've talked about in the video and think about purchasing them for yourself. That's a look at the Edifier R33BT Bluetooth computer speakers. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody who you think might like to see it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this pair of Edifier speakers or if you have another pair that you'd like me to check out from any other brand. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will so you don't miss my next video. Thanks again and we'll see you soon from KevinK.com. Bye-bye.